Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for anyone who is new here, I am Ellie and I run this page for Interiors. So this is going to be actually my new style and series. This is episode 2 and this is a very highly requested video because I don't used to put your suggestions in and you have done. So today I'm going to be showing you how I merchandise in work and you're actually going to come with me before the shop opens on how I get pieces ready and things like that and how I design a furniture mat plus how I design console tables, style them and everything like that. Obviously you can put up some home sense, but no way in shape or form has this been advertised, sponsored or endorsed by home sense. I'm doing this all out of my free time so yeah I would just like to put that out there. I'm actually crouched on the floor, shock. Um, the shop is going to be opening in an hour so I literally have an hour to do this. Really what I do is there is no stock rooms. I know a lot of people go, oh, is there any of these in the back? We literally don't have a stock room. So I've got to use everything that I can that is on the shop floor on the day. So I literally just have to come up with a design in my head and just do it there and then. So I need to strip this pod, go shopping, get a trolley, fill it up and then design this. So first I'm going to strip this. So let's go. seen I've just moved everything so the majority of the time you just have to move everything on your own. Lots of people have said oh you can't carry that you need a strong man. I can't carry that. Watch me. So yeah obviously there's no lads in this morning and um, just me and a few of the girls are working. Obviously they're working there and um, that's why I feel like I'm whispering. I always feel like I'm pure shout when I do videos but if I am whispering that's why. Um, so yeah I'm gonna take you shopping with me now around the store. We're gonna find some gorgeous bits for here. So I wanna try and go for like a girly vibe. Um, kind of like greys, pinks, purples maybe. And then obviously do some console styling for you, which I think you'll really enjoy. Because a lot of you are wanting tips and things. Now a lot of the time I kind of just wing it, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and just see what goes together and it just kind of works. So I'll try and explain as best as I can what I actually do. Um, but as I say a lot of the time I just honestly wing it. Like in this job as well, you've just got to because the stock is the stock. So you've just got to work with it, do you know what I mean? Like I've literally just got to pull something together with whatever I have. So that's that but yeah we'll get going we'll, i'll take you shopping around the store we'll find some bit being a gorgeous canvas and mirrored console like um chest of drawers that i want to use so i'm going to show you let's go <laughs> I'm starting to use this piece of wall art instead, um, which is like a ram head with flowers on. So I'm just going to put it in my trolley. Fabulous. So I'm going to go around and see what I can pick from this picture, um, accessory wise. So, styling cabinet wise, I think this is going to look sick. So, it's obviously got the golden, which the um, trolley is all the way over here. Let's run. Which obviously the ram. Um, horns having which is going to look good I think that'll look fab to style on and um, the only thing is it's not proper heavy so this is going to be a nightmare to move so yeah me and me double chins from this angle we're going to have a lot of trouble rug wise this is going to be the cutest oh maybe that one hmm fair books over there they're quite nice but now I think I want to pick more of the purpley tones out see yeah literally this is all i do when i'm in work like i'll pick products that i think will go even if they don't it's just trial and error so yeah it's so funny actually recording this when the shop's empty oh the cushions this lighting's not doing me any favors by the way let me just push my hair back off my face oh, that's better 
cushions, they're pretty, they're really nice. The perk of work as well is that everything is in colour flow. Oh my god, do I actually look like this today? To be fair, I did get up early to record this video. Obviously the shop's open, not open. Ooh, they could be the ones. Yeah, yeah, the ones. So these lamps are gorgeous. I'm feeling them now. I quite like the creamier shade and the bronzy gold um, stand. What is that even called? The light stand? I don't even know. It's too early to even know the names of something so basic. I probably remember in like an hour's time. But yeah, all these lamps are fab. I absolutely love the base of that one as well. But I love the height of them ones and they look perfect on the console. I was torn against that because I do love the base, but I think they're coming with me. So we actually have eco lights in here. So before the shop opens, like corners of the shop are pitch black. Um, I wouldn't say pitch black, that's a bit dramatic, but like not bright, do you know what I mean? Saving the environment and all that. So yeah, we're gonna have to shop in the dark. <laughs> mm, scared. So actually I might just put the big pieces of furniture out and come back for the accessories. That is what I'm gonna do. So yeah, if anyone's wondering why it's so dark in the corner, that's why. Home centre is all about saving the environment, let me tell you. Right, so that just killed me. I'm literally out of breath that I've just had to carry that cabinet. Um. So yeah, if this was like a normal day with customers, I'd have to take one item at a time instead of clearing the mat completely and then swapping it out the way I am now. I can only do it before the shop opens when customers are in it. Obviously, it's not safe to do that. So I would have to do it one item at a time, which sometimes takes longer, especially when customers are asking questions. But half the time, it's quite okay. And you know what the annoying thing is? I literally do a mat and someone buys something and I'm like, that was my whole scheme. Like, if someone bought the canvas off this, I'd be like, that was my whole scheme, because I've literally designed it off that canvas. So that is really annoying. But um, it's a nice thing, obviously, I'm confident. Like, it's a compliment that people want to buy the stuff that I've just put up, do you know what I mean? But still. Um, so yeah, the canvas that I'm using, and I've just selected, I'm going to use that as, like, my main um, piece. And I'm going to take the colours off that to decorate the rest of the mat. Um, the reason I call it a mat, by the way, it is called a furniture mat because literally like there's extra wood pieces that are on top of the wood and it's like a mat shape so that's just the home sense lingo so if I ever do say I'm doing a design and furniture mat that's what I mean so yeah let's crack on so I'm just going to put that um, canvas up as I say and then we'll shop around for more bits probably by the time that's up and I put a little chair there I'll get more of a vibe of the scheme and again it's kind of trial and error so when it comes to doing my furniture mat or when it comes to designing your home you are going to have to buy things and bring them back like that's just how it is like when I'm doing a mat I might pick like 10 pieces and be like yeah that's going to work together and like three of them don't like that's just how it is that's how designing goes um but as I say I do wing it half the time like I have done for ages but you just learn and you just get to know colours and schemes and compositions and stuff like that so yeah let's go So you've got your gorgeous console, um, chest of drawers, and you've picked your canvas out. So now I'm going to find the accessories that match and show you how I'll do different styling techniques and things like that. But obviously I'm going to add a little chair and make it a bit cosy before I start any of my styling advice. Do you know what as well? I'm thinking, literally, because everything that's going on now, it's obviously queue before you go into shops and things. The amount of customers that are going to start queuing here like half an hour before and I've actually only just thought about that so I'm going to be recording here and everyone's going to be watching me outside I don't know how I feel about that Right, so here's a few accessories I've obviously picked before um, actually, do you know what, I might go up the stairs and try and find a chair I like that one. 
one but if you look closely it's got a bit of a blue tinge to it i wish that was all gray because i would have gone for that oh my god circle of show that chair has a skirt now i'm tend to love most of the products but absolutely not <laughs> that's a big no they're quite nice they look a bit too leather look for me and i don't like the dark legs oh i love that them ghost chairs are gorge oh that kind of doesn't match my vibe though see this is literally my thought process when i am designing furniture mats i literally have to stalk the whole shop and think about my scheme and everything that's going in it and decide from that that was kind of look nice though with the scheme oh and i'm fuming one of the cabinets i've sold that i wanted to do another styling video from oh do you know what that is literally my own fault you know like i'm actually fuming about that i actually had that video planned for tomorrow morning as well that's really annoying that's really just annoying me to be quite honest with you <laughs> um yeah, can you cope that the shop's got no money? Me! <laughs> um, they're literally going to be watching me on like the CCTV cameras, like, is she alright? Okay, no chairs here. There's a nice one downstairs. It's not the nicest, but it'll kind of have to do. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles in this place, I'm afraid. So, this is the chair I've kind of gone for. It's quite big, isn't it? Do you know what I might do? I'm changing the whole scheme around. Bear with me. Get me, get me. and to make it look better than just like punk in front i've put it to the side as you can see let me show you yeah you can still see that so oh can you see the way i'm just like swatting on the floor again i feel like i need like a little pull out stool um so obviously i've picked that chair it's got nice gold legs at the bottom it wasn't my first pick i'm being honest i'd have preferred like shell back grey chair or something like that but it'll do for now and i'll go and get me cushion still the you last time i feel like i got to say like this is my trolley of goods and I literally have four things in there because I literally like to shop as a go. So I go back and forth to find it, try and find. Look, oh, I'm literally on parrot. There's cars driving past and I'm like, if they start queuing, I'm gonna go to bits. Like I'm not even lying. Um so I actually feel like I'm whispering as well because there's other people in the shop. Anyway, um so I've gone for this cushion. As you can see, it picks out gorgeous tones from the canvas. For doing my merchandise and what i tend to do so i tend to pick one piece similarly to my tribal video if you haven't seen that i'll put the link below because make sure you do you'll love it in that video i showed you that i picked a cushion and took the colors from that in this circumstance it's going to be the canvas so at home like when you're like designing wherever you're designing you need to pick one thing that you like love and you can't live without and you're basing that room scheme off and work around that because honestly it just makes designing so much easier it really really does like if i have a client and they love this canvas i'll be like sand that is literally what you want to go off so i'm going to make that work for you so yeah little tip for anyone who wants to know this cushion i think it's a gorgeous pink i didn't even know we had these in last night so they must have came in on delivery that i left but they are fab obviously the, do you know what the plumpness of these are perfect because you can get that chop look at that i haven't even had to really chop it <laughs> everyone skips me you know you know the home sense all it's on another drop of a video i'll put below as well but everyone was having at me doing me jackie chan chop so i feel like for future references that's now my thing like the jackie chan chop so if you don't chop your cushions we can't be mates because you've got to chop your cushions it adds just so much depth to your scheme. So anyway, I'm gonna go and pop that on now. To be fair, with a scheme like that, you could do two cushions, but I prefer just the one. I think it just looks so much nicer. Um, my trolley is just like clearly in the frame there. Hilarious. So with regards to rugs, one was perfect. And now looking at this scheme, it definitely is. Tassels are so in right now, and I am obsessed with them. How gorgeous are they? Um, I just think they're so pretty. This collection of rugs that home sense do by the way are just perfect you could even put them outside and just like bring them in obviously before it rains but i just love love the style of them um they're just so pretty but they really complement each other because they're quite feminine colors anyway um and obviously i'm going for quite a 
girly vibes for all you girlies out there um kind of rooms again so yeah i'm just gonna put it down now <laughs> Also, I forgot to add, there's no music in the background because cleverly I made sure to turn it off this time. Well, I never. Um, I actually managed to turn it off. I was like, do you mind turning the music off? Because last time my video was a disaster because the music was just like taken over it and then YouTube done me for copyright. And I was like, how? Like, copyrighted me for like the 1975. I was like, I didn't even know our work played the 1975. Anyway, that's going off on my. Do you know what I'm finding really weird as well? Like, I just sort of like do a scheme and my brain just like tells me what to do, it's weird. Like if you've got a creative brain you'll just know, like you just go off on one. To actually stop and pause and explain it to you is so, so difficult, like I can't explain. Um, so I am just like learning from doing that as well because I'm used to just like doing it and going away with my own wind. So actually teaching it to other people is like really hard. So I've picked them, I'm just gonna get go and get some side tables for here because I would like to style them as well as up there. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then we shall resume. Now there's actually someone outside parked there, can you see? They best not think we open earlier than we do. But I've only been sitting in the class then at me this whole time I'm videoing. That's all I need. Anyway, I found these gorgeous fingerprints. That'll be custom. I found these gorgeous side tables. I absolutely love these. Um, they're like a T-shaped. And they kind of look like bamboo, but they're obviously silver. With the cabinet being mirrored, these just go perfectly. It's kind of like a girly Persian vibe that I'm going for, which I quite like. So I couldn't try the tables on my at the same time. So I've just put them there. But how nice does that look? I think that's so, so pretty. With regards to styling, I want to style this side table here and show you how I do that. And you also want to style this console. I have my new pad here and I'm going to get ready and go more shopping. Right, so book wise, let's see what we have here. Um, I want a really pretty styling book. Of course, someone's bought the one that I took a photo of yesterday to use, so that's really frustrating. Um, I quite like this one, that's got like a pink edge hasn't it? So that can be my, maybe my biggest book, because I feel like I've got no other ones. How big is that? No, they're the same size. Hey, hey, hey! They click the best. Mm, that'll do. Actually, I quite like that one as well. Okay, I'll take all three. Let's go to the darkness corner where all the accessories are. Right, so around here, I absolutely love this. I don't know whether that's going to be too dark, but it's all about trial and error, so I'm just going to pop that in my trolley anyway. Um, what else have we got here? This is really girly vibes. I love that. It's pretty. Let's take him with us. Um, I'm sorry that it's so dark in this corner, by the way. Don't hate me for it. <gasps> Oh my god, when did you get that in? Stop it. I paid £20 for mine and next and even well smaller than that. The size of that. Well, I'm gonna bring that anyway because I think that's gorgeous. Might bring the two actually just in case I wanna like use them as bookmarks to style me books. Um, they can come with me. <gasps> oh my god. That is me amazing. That is definitely getting used with flowers in. Do you know what? I hope I didn't break nothing. That'd be embarrassing. I break things all the time. It's actually not even okay. I love that one as well, actually. That one might work well. Um, what time are we on? The shop opens in 50 minutes. Hilarious. Like, that's all a bit dark, isn't it? But it's nice. But it's a bit dark. I feel like I need more accessories. Let's see. <gasps> How did I miss this? That is gorgeous. I think that's too tall though. I feel like I don't know whether I like anything else to go with the scheme. A magnifying glass. Perfect. That can go on the little con little styling cabinet. I don't know why I put my trolley miles away by the way. Um, I might pick a candle out as well. Let's see. Hmm. That is going to be perfect. 
perfect. Little peck sniffs on there. And that's not for reason, by the way. Can't really find any other accessories that I'm like vibing for this scheme. Hmm. So I am gonna look in the Halloween section. Right, so Halloween is in full force and pieces that would work so well would be like Day of the Dead scheme. But this absolute gem is definitely going on my style and how gorgeous is this? Oh my god, I actually need my nails doing. I'm so sorry that they're like naked. Um oh, but yeah, let's see what else there is. Just so many fab Halloween pieces in, isn't there? So yeah, this is definitely going on the scheme. Looking in the trolley like if someone came to my till. God, am I alright? If literally someone came to the till with this trolley, I'd be like, wow, that's a major vibe. We currently are working with Gorge, but you know what? I've missed out. Foliage, so don't even mean like big tall, um, these orchids or anything, or even the flowers. I mean like a big plant, like I could do it like a gorgeous big plant. Oh, amazing. We haven't even got one. So my scheme has just gone out the window completely. I'll have to use a big tall orchid. There is no other way around this than an orchid. I'm actually half fuming about that. I wanted like something green. Oh, the screen. Oh, I'm lying the screen stuff over there. Let's see what the orchid looks like. It might look half pretty. Oh no, that's hideous. What even is that? I can't even see it. And this is what I mean by the way, by trial and error. Like, honestly, you cannot just trust picking one thing up. You've got to try and edit it. But I know there's some other furniture mats that there is actually plants. Can you see? Apart from seeing my huge head, there's some over here. I'm going to steal one. No, that is so much better. Let me just move it in a bit. Um, remember, we'll be styling that, but I just needed something high behind the chair. Obviously, if this was in your room, it would look different because this wouldn't be so close. But in the scheme, I just needed that foliage to pick out the greens in the canvas. So I think that looks sad, but so much better than that orchid. I mean, what even was that choice by me, by the way? See, it, it's not perfect and everything is trial and error. Trust me, do you know what I mean? So let's get on to style. It wasn't so tall, like I literally can't fit in my own phone lens, do you know what I mean? God, with styling this gorgeous cabinet. I've got my trolley with all my bits in, so I'm gonna go and get it. You can't see the trolley this time, or me, clearly. Um, so, first things first, I wanna get my height. So I decided to go for this gorgeous lamp. The base is very like, that's the word, base? I couldn't think of the word before. Stupid. Um, so this base, is obviously beautiful. It's got like the chromey elements which are in like the Persian cabinet. I've also got like the pinky mauve. I've used this light and um, as you can see it's not as tall as the canvas which is the look that I kind of didn't want to go for because obviously the canvas would be higher than on a wall. The point of when styling is to use balance and symmetry so you're either going to use two lamps or you're only going to use one for your height and use a completely different medium so like concrete and um, a paper box you're going to go for something that's a completely different medium on the other side or you're going to go for symmetry so you're going to actually use two lights um like last time oh my god there's someone like literally pulled up outside it's about about 10 we only have five minutes people please leave <laughs> anyway um so i hope you've got your notepads out because symmetry and balance is crucial. This first look, I'm gonna go for symmetry, so I'm gonna go for two lights. Well, thankfully, again, that is higher than the green plant. I didn't want them to be like on the same height because it would look too cluttered. Oh my God, why is there so many people outside? Can you see the fear in my face? No, if they come to the door, you know, I'm gonna be fuming. You best not come to the door. He's coming to the door, you. Yes. Hey, he's looked at the time and he's realised we're not open for another 45 minutes, so I hope he drives away. Why are people this keen on a Sunday? Why? Anyway, <laughs> not the point. So, as I say, for this look, I've chose the symmetry and balance. So I've picked two lamps. So this canvas would obviously be higher on your wall, but the the easel just won't go any higher so please leave me alone so now it's kind of just trial and error i'm just experimenting with the products that i've purchased 
I have even purchased them am I alright I'm still in the shop <laughs> what is wrong with me so, the next bit I've got two vases so one side I'm gonna do quite high and the other side I'm gonna do it quite low Um, as I've spoke a lot Um, if you don't follow me over on Instagram I talk about it a lot is zones so when I'm styling a cabinet I tend to do zonage so like I might turn it as a one so I might do a whole thing <laughs> I might do two, I might do three, I might even do four. Um, four tends to be like though if you're doing um, a coffee table styling. I'll do that in another video, I'm just going off on one. But for this, I'm going to do two zones and I'm going to split it directly in the middle. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't have balance either side, by the way. Sorry, just leaning on my trolley. Um, that doesn't mean you shouldn't have balance regardless of the zones. There still needs to be harmony either side of the scheme. Most of the time, I literally just wing it and you'll just know what works and what doesn't. Um, a lot of the time on Instagram, people say, like, how can I style this? How can I do that? If you look at people who have a design and you go, oh my God, that's gorgeous. It's most of the time has balance so all the elements that you've used are harmonious together and all of the time like the scheme color scheme wise works as well don't forget about that like if them two lamps were black dark scheme it would look, just look silly like that's just the be all and end all of it it genuinely would so it's about knowing your color schemes as well it's about knowing your color wheel maybe if you're not like new to that and things i'm just giving you a few tips by the way you don't have to take all these away i'm just like helping you out um so i quite like this iridescent vase and now that it's by here but I feel like it might need a bit of height somehow. I'm just gonna go and pick some flowers for this vase. I feel like a nice silver tray would have looked perfect here, but we have none. This is the struggle is real. Like honest to God, like picking things, the struggle is real. So this might have to do. Also got this unicorn and this. I tend to like working in threes though, so I feel like this is hard. And I also feel like because that's so heavy on that side, if I put anything on that side, it might look stupid. Might leave that. See, this is what I mean about trial and error. Like, you honestly might find that things don't work when you put them together. And like, I'm not gonna come down here and do this video and do it perfectly because it never ever goes perfectly ever. You see the end product on my Instagram, like that's the end product that's not how i started like the trial and error that goes on is like ridiculous like honest to god well, i need to try and find flowers before to do anything else so let's go and find them first oh my god there's like four cars outside what the hell is going on um so plants wise flowers wise can't even speak i'm gonna take Oh, I'm nearly dropping the camera, same. Um, I quite like them, I feel like they'll work. I'm just going to take two as an experiment. They're gorgeous, but I don't like that. So let's bail that. Oh, they're gorgeous. Okay, so I kind of have that to the front, I sort of had the shade, which I quite like. I don't know whether I just like that on its own. It's a bit more greens in there, isn't it? That's quite pretty, isn't it? I don't want that there or not. No, I feel like that looks stupid now. See what I mean? That is gorge. That needs a bit of height, so... I need to pick one of my books that I'm not using on my side table. Okay. I feel like it needs to be in threes though, so that's gonna bother me. Let's see what else we've got here. I've got this. what that looks like are we feeling that i'm not feeling it you know use i don't know i don't know how i feel about it let me just step back and have a little nose no i hate it there needs to be more height this side that's what it is that's why i'm hating on it hmm right let me go and look back in the deck department right so that is my life like literally finding a scheme and then hating on it no surprise there um let me just do a few trial and error styling with you um and let's see what it looks like <laughs> Um, I like the books in that corner. I don't know whether I like that vase now, which is okay. Um, yeah, I like the books being in this little um, 
Exactly, look at I've used them bookmarks. I'm actually few they so they're just ornaments. I've just turned them into bookends by the way. Um but I literally bought them from next to the day for twenty pounds and they're smaller than that. And they're only twelve ninety nine. So I'm actually a bit fuming about that. Um I don't know whether to use this vase instead to just add some colour um, into the sheen. Yeah, I feel like that's even just such a better vase to use. That looks so pretty. Yes, I'm feeling that. What do you think about it? Let me just move my tripod for you. What do you think about that? Are we feeling it? Now, even here, you could actually put it in, like, I'm fuming that we don't have one, but I'd love a mirror tray. Like, if we had a mirror tray, I'd definitely have put that in a mirror tray, that, like, little corner. Um, But it is what it is. We just don't have one, which is fine. No, that looks so pretty. <laughs> no, I actually get so excited when a scheme comes together. <laughs> no, you just oh, can't you? <gasps> no use. Oh, I use. That looks amazing. I get so excited. Look at my cheeks. Like I go all like ecstatic when a scheme works. That looks gorgeous. So a quick run through. Me just getting excited and standing all over the flipping mat. If you do come into home send some pages this mat, I am sorry the excitement is real so amazing this is the final piece see trial and error stuck me a bit but that's okay so so in this scheme i have done my invisible line down the middle of like the ram skull um, and done two different zones however i have obviously kept the same lamps either side to keep that balance within the scheme that's why it looks relax <laughs> that's why it looks so luxurious and fab and i'm so happy with it then use me decorative pieces as bookmarks to add height through the styling books that I have decided on. I found this gorgeous mermaid vase and then chose these fab hydrangeas but they're like pink with a little bit of green in they are fab. Um, I tend to go for odd numbers with your flowers so I've gone for five in that. Um, you could actually take it up to seven but I feel like five is just a nice number and then I've done three here so i like to work in odds when you're doing design like odd numbers just work so much better so i'm glad that i've put him on here and um, so i've got gone for this like a little trio of a vibe on here um but i am so so happy with this um yeah it just looks gorgeous i'm over the moon at how that's turned out i didn't think it turned out like that it just looks so pretty so personally i would maybe have put like silver tray there if we had one but we just never um, and I just leave that as a gap because if you put too many decorative pieces on or styling pieces the scheme can look like so cluttered and you kind of just don't want to go for the cluttered vibe you want it to look nice and simple now I'm gonna do the side tables that I've got which are here piece I was thinking of going for a tray but I think that one looks too silly. So I'm actually gonna go and get more styling books um, to stack here and put all my accessories on there. So I will be two seconds. So big room, you can't have enough styling books or should we say that's a top tip? You literally can't have enough of them. I promise they're not the same books. <laughs> they are. Um, so I'm gonna pass them here and they look fab. A go-to piece as well. I talk about staple pieces all the time, styling books, and this magnifying glass should definitely be in your favourites. So I definitely go for it. So for my little styling table at the side, I've gone for a gorgeous candle. This is the Pecknish one. It smells amazing. And I'm also going to put this unicorn on here but i think i'm just going to put them right in front and then i'm going to get this to add my height at the back um so yeah as i say it is trial and error with things like this so i'm just going to do a few different styling techniques so the first one i've done my styling box with a fab pexis candle and a tall vase with this i wish the books were bigger <laughs> and i wish i had the styling tray what really complements this table would actually be a tray on top of it. It just adds like dimensions and it just adds height as well to your scheme. 
So for here, I've gone for that, which is look one. So get your favourite candle, get your favourite tall bars to add the height and your fab styling books. I prefer big styling books. I think they just work better and you can put like elements like this magnifying. Last, um, on there. <laughs> styling book would make smaller accessories like this more accessible and look better um, so that's what I kind of went for for look one could actually switch it up and go for like a styling tray like this um, I don't prefer that one as much as a circular one only because the shape of it just goes like out of sorts with the rest of the scheme um, but I'm just going to go with could actually put a pretty orchid in there to get some more height in the corner you could also bring back your candles so, and then you could put your lovely pretty unicorn in the back if you wanted to that is just like another styling idea as i say i prefer working in threes i just think it works so much better with a scheme like this i feel like maybe a more narrower candle and um, because this is a very similar shape to the base you can't even see me this is a very similar shape to the base it's just me working with stuff that i've got in store for the scheme and um, you could also go for no um kind of base whatsoever and you could literally just go for your styling books in front of your orchid like so um, and then you could put your magnifying glass on here like that the way glasses right and um i went on a styling course once and the girl who ran it said any shoot you go to make sure you have a spare pair of glasses or if you wear them even better because when you're doing a shoot when you're taking photos you need to make them look like quite natural like someone's been sitting there so i always like to just add that glasses element onto um any styling that i kind of do i just think it looks really nice um for the purpose and end of this video i'm actually gonna leave it there for one i'm running out of time like majorly i've cut this so fine to record i can't explain it to you there's literally customers outside now like um looking in like staring at me <laughs> i go to bitch you know like it's all right recording it here but when people start looking at me and when there's people around i get i just get all flustered don't know why yeah as i say i'm gonna leave it there thank you so much for watching these videos i hope you took some amazing tips from them i hope you loved what i've done like i'm just obsessed with the styling that i've done here i think it looks fab i really just love this um console styling like i'm just obsessed with it um, and I hope you've loved this video. I absolutely love your requests. So if you do have any more, do let me know. Obviously, I want to be teaching you and helping you do things that will help you at home and to help you learn some styling tips. And if I can help in any way, then I'd love to. Do you know what I mean? So if you have got a girly vibe room um, or any other things that you want to take from this video, do tag me in your pics because I would love to see anything that you've picked up from me. If you've loved this video, make sure you give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel as well. Like the amount of subscribers I've had in such a short period of time honestly means the world to me. Um, and yeah, I just hope you're enjoying my channel and I can't wait for my next video already. So episode two over and out and I'm going to leave you with a gorgeous montage of the scheme that I have done. So yeah, I'll see you later.